Hi Aries, welcome to your love reading for March. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Aries is going to take a look at a love connection you believe you have with somebody at this time. You do have to know each other and believe to have some sort of love connection or connection of some kind. You don't necessarily have to be together. So we're going to see what energies come out for you here. Uh, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising in Venus, male, female. It could be past, present, or future. Please only take what resonates, throw away the rest. If it's not fitting for you, then it's probably not your reading. Don't try to make it fit. So let's see what's going on for Aries at this time. And I do say at this time because I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, even though they're dated, doesn't matter. Um, links below in the description box to uh, your love and general playlist, along with the decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading. If you'd like to tip or donate, send a gift. All that info is below in the description box and also pinned to the top comment. And also another way you can tip or donate if you don't like to use PayPal is Super Chat is open during this time, during the premiere. So if you'd like to tip or donate in that way, please feel free if you'd like to. And if you do, thank you so much. So Aries, let's see <clears throat> what's going on for you at this time. Welcome in everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. So this is a Zodiac Oracle. We could get a sign, element, or planet. And if you don't resonate with what comes out here, that's totally fine. And then with the Romance Angels, we'll get an overall love energy between you and your person. Then we'll pull one card for each of you, see how you're feeling about each other and the connection. We'll clarify all that with Tarot. And then also look at the um, love situation, advice for the situation, possible outcome. And then at the end, we'll pull some extra messages from the Lover's Oracle. So let's see for Aries at this time. What's going on in love spirit, please? So let's see what we have here. Virgo. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. Uh, could be someone rising or Venus or I don't know, maybe a Virgo in your chart. If you're not dealing with a Virgo. You don't know a Virgo. Totally fine. All right. So now let's get an opening love energy between you and your person, whoever you're thinking about at this time for this reading. Aries, spirit, please. What is the current love connection energy like between Aries and the person that they are thinking of at this time for this reading? Spirit, please, thank you so much. What? Okay, that was quick. That one, like, stuck right in my hand. Well, we have deception. Someone is wearing a false self-mask in this relationship. So, it doesn't mean someone could be lying. Well, I wouldn't say like lying in a bad way. Maybe they're not being totally upfront and honest with you about how they truly feel about you. So we'll see. So let's see. Somebody's. It could be you. Could be your person. Um, both of you, not necessarily just them. All right. So because you see, everybody in this picture is wearing a mask. So you both could be wearing a mask and not really letting on that you like each other or, I don't know, we'll see. But you see little cherub here trying to remove the mask. So I feel like uh, you, the universe, spirit, uh, divine energy is trying to make masks fall off here. All right, so let's, so Aries, I'm going to put you on this side and your person on that side. But if any time during the reading you feel like the energies are flipped, reversed, please feel free, feel free to do that any time throughout this reading. Okay. All right. I feel that's you. I feel that's them. Let's get one for you. Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. So you're needing to trust in them in this connection. And then we have let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So... <clears throat> they're an energy of needing help or advice from their friends or maybe getting their friends to set you guys up. I, I don't know. Something about um, they need support in some way from someone, maybe even to gain the courage to say how they truly feel. Hmm. All right. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. It is safe for you to love, open your heart, to give and receive the highest energy of all. I think that's a message for the two of you, that it is safe to 
open your heart to this connection. Maybe they're talking to their friends. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And in uh, here, you're needing to have trust and faith in this connection. But I feel like we have two people here that are not being honest about how they feel about each other. You could even be friends and both like each other and not be saying anything or coworkers or something like that. All right, so let's delve in here with the tarot. This is the sexual magic tarot. So if you're uncomfortable with images such like, you know, this, then uh, you may not want to watch at this point. I think everybody's pretty much familiar with this deck. Or if you're not 18, then you probably shouldn't be watching. All right, so <clears throat> I'd just like to give a quick shout out to all my new subscribers, those who have reached out for personal reading, tipped, donated. Any support you've shown me in the channel is truly, truly appreciated. Could not do it without you guys. So thank you, thank you. So trust, why is trust here? The fool taking a leap of faith. You need to have faith and trust that is safe to take this leap of faith with this person. What else? What else? For you, Aries. What else for Aries, spirit, please? Why are you following that one? The King of Wands. So that's your energy. That's your energy, fire. Leo Sag Aries. Aries is a very fiery, passionate, go-getter kind of energy. They go after what they want, a lot of drive ambition. They're very successful, adventurous, uh, creative. So you need to have faith and trust to take the leap of faith. That's exactly what that is. Or you do have faith and trust in this and you want to take the leap of faith. However, this resonates for you. All right, so let's see... <clears throat> let's see why is this here for your person let your friends help you why is that here for aries person whoever they're thinking of at this time for this reading spirit please the eight of cups energy <clears throat> all right let's get one more one more why is the eight of cups here for aries person the seven of swords so there's the false mask here with the seven of swords also can be about wearing false mask self-deceit deception not being honest i feel like your person kind of walks away from how they truly feel like they're not honest with themselves how they truly feel they're not honest with you they kind of turn their back on how they truly feel but maybe they're talking to their friends about it. Like, you know, I don't know what to do about this situation. Oh boy. So, because you see these two people with their backs to one another. So definitely uh, there's no communication here about how you're truly feeling or, or how they're feeling about you. I feel like you, because this came out as an opening energy between the two of you with this self-deception um, and false mask. I feel like you are both in that energy, especially them. <clears throat> I think you're learning and you're trying to have trust. Maybe you, you know, you, you have faith and trust and hope that there will be a leap of faith and you start with this person, but maybe you're just not saying anything because maybe you know they're also a little scared. Maybe they refused you know, maybe you, maybe one approached the other and the other kind of refused a little bit or something like that. All right. So actually let's see what the actual situation is here for you. Aries with this connection spirit, please Aries in their person. This is a general collective reading. So please keep that in mind. It's not a personal reading. All right. So what is, what well, we got three. The Ten of Pentacles. All right, that's under your energy in the devil. Hmm. So, I mean, the devil can represent uh, <clears throat> t 
toxic energy or obsessions or addictions or negative thinking, fears, all that kind of energy. But we do have the Ten of Pentacles, which is the long-term commitment and the marriage, sharing everything together, you know, it's the whole family dynamic. Very stable, grounded energy, long-term. So I feel like I feel like you have doubts and fears about negative thinking about this possibly moving forward into something long term. Even though I feel like you may want that. But I think Spirit wants you to trust and have faith that this could happen, this leap of faith. If masks can fall off here between the two of you and you both can be honest about how you feel with one another. So let's see what's in the middle here. Yeah, the hangman. So yeah, there's definitely stagnant energy right now between the two of you. Nothing's being said. No actions being taken. But you know, the hangman usually gains enlightenment, looks at things from different perspectives, usually becomes unhung and uh, moves forward eventually. So let's see what else here. So seven of cups, yeah. Confusion, options, daydreamy, choices, decisions. Yeah, so they're really trying to make a decision, looking at all the options on what to do. We have two sevens here, but sevens to me are always a number of um, a very divinely guided spiritual number. <clears throat> all right, let's, let's get one more. One more. In the tower. So... And that's your energy. Tower is Aries. So they're definitely thinking about you, have you on their mind with the Aries card here with the tower. But I think, um, I think this connection and actually telling you how they feel, all of it, I think it's just very overwhelming to them. And it gives them like these, I'm getting like panic attacks, anxiety attacks. I mean, the tower can be a breakup, a shakeup, a shakedown, uh, a disruption, um, a change, a surprise, epiphany, aha moment. But I'm getting this person that like shakes them up, and, like makes them like very anxious and nervous. It makes them very confused. And that's what makes them wear this false mask, makes them turn away from how they truly feel in the connection. But I feel like they're somehow talking to friends about it. Because I do feel with the tower here, I mean, they do realize, you know, how much they feel about you. Probably hit them like a bolt of lightning. Because I feel like, you know, they want this connection with you. But then I know this is a different person in the back. But then I feel like this is like the shadow side of themselves. and like makes them feel like crazy. Like stressed out, nervous, anxious, fear, like all that energy. But you have that energy too. So you're both in the same energy actually. But I feel like they're a little more confused and um, have a little more, little more fear than you do. I think you have a little more faith, hope, and optimism and a little more trust than they do, even though you may not be saying anything either. Wow, okay. So let's see what the advice is for this connection. Now we got the seven of wands. A lot of sevens here. So this could be a very divinely guided spiritual connection here. The knight of wands. Let's get a few more. The knight of cups. In the wheel. So the advice here is for things to move along, things to go in a better direction. Again, I had said I felt like this is a divine <clears throat> connection and we have the wheel, which is a divine fate kind of energy. It's fate, it's destiny, it's divine timing, it's things going in a better direction, things going in your favor. So for this to move along in a better direction, 
we have passion, we have love here, moving forward with passion and love. You know, seven of wands is that energy also of standing up, fighting for something. Uh, it can be about being defensive and on guard, but it also could be being defensive and on guard and, and fighting for what you believe in and what you want. So if this is what you two actually want, then we have to stand up, we have to fight for it, to move it along, to move it forward, coming forward with a lot of passion, drive, ambition, and also love, affection, compassion, peace and harmony kind of energy also. We'll move this all energy along between the two of you. That's the advice from spirit. So let's see what the possible outcome, possible outcome, possible outcome for you in this connection, Aries. What is the possible outcome? So we have the Knight of Cups. So there's definitely love and emotions here, but people not saying because the King of Cups usually doesn't say much how they truly feel. But we do have the Page of Pentacles. So that is a solid offer or solid communication, stable communication. But we have the Five of Cups, which is sadness, loss, hurt. So if this King of Cups can communicate in a stable way, I feel like the sadness can be overcome. I don't know. Let's get a couple more. Let's get a couple more. The possible outcome here. Now we have the Knight of Pentacles. So we have, yeah, so not only having stable communication and a solid offer, but actually come, moving forward, maybe very slowly, you know, taking baby steps. But here is the offer, and it's being accepted. So what else? And the high priestess, yeah. So this king, um, king, queen, doesn't matter. The king of cups doesn't usually say much. They kind of show you how they feel, but they don't really verbalize a lot how they truly feel, as with the high priestess has a lot of intuition, but also very secretive, doesn't really say much. So if this king or both of you can get over, because we have we have counterparts here. We have uh, two counterparts here, both being secretive and not saying much, but feeling sadness. But two knights here. Well, knight and a page. So. <clears throat> I do feel like there'll be some form of communication, maybe on how we can move this forward very slowly, take, taking baby steps. But I think it's going to take time because we have all this energy here of being quiet. We can get over that, have the stable communication, actually move forward very slowly. We can get past this Five of Cups of feeling sad and hurt and lonely. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Six of Pentacles. So there we go. Equal give and take, equal exchange, balance, stability, structure with the Pentacle energy. So if we can have equal give and take here between the two of you, how can we move this forward? You know, re removing our mass, having honest conversations, moving very slowly in the blood of uh, stability. And again, Six of Swords, so moving into the calmer waters, moving forward to a better place. Now we have the Page of Wands, so fiery, passionate energy, good news coming in. Now we have the King of Pentacles, so that is the Virgo energy here. So, you know, being stable, grounded, secure, growth, abundance, very practical and smart. <clears throat> and then we have the nine of wands of standing up and fighting for this you know to keep fighting for this if you truly want this between the two of you not backing down and keep fighting for it so we have virgo taurus capricorn 
We have Leo Sag Aries. Uh, let's see here. We have Aquarius, Leo Sag Aries, um, Capricorn, Pisces, Aries Scorpio, Leo Sag Aries, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, Sagittarius, Pisces again, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, Virgo Taurus Capricorn, Virgo Taurus Capricorn. So we basically have everybody here. So, I feel like if <clears throat> you both can, you both kind of like are marrying each other like in the same energy of having fear of jumping into something new and kind of just ignoring the connection. But I feel like that could be overcome and we could build very slowly, move forward very slowly into a long-lasting connection here. If uh, self-mask can be um, taken off here. All right, so let's get some bonus messages here for you, Aries. So I do say, Aries, if you like my style and how I read, please feel free to check out my channel if you like what you see. Um, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. And uh, hit the bell, you won't miss out. You'll get five readings a month. You'll get four. You get two love, two general, and a bonus. So don't miss out on that. And if you do, thank you. So one more shuffle here. Let's get some extra messages for you, Aries. Some extra messages here for Aries about this connection. So we have here, acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. So I think needing to accept this connection for what it is instead of trying to control it um, or change it. I mean, it is what it is. And I definitely feel like this could be definitely a lifelong soulmate partner. All right. So let's get some more messages for you, Aries. When we pass, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. So, you know, if you, if mass not removed and this does not come together, then there'll be no memories of you with this person to take with you when you leave this world. And you may regret that, wondering what could have happened with this person, what kind of memories could we have made, um... What kind of love could we have shared? Wow. Okay. So let's get a few more. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life. We create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You'll be surprised where it leads. Exactly. I think you both are creating unnecessary stress in this connection within yourselves. Instead of going with the flow, just seeing where it goes. That's what I'm getting is take it very slowly. Go with the flow. You know, say how you feel. Have that open conversation. And just take it very slowly. Just let it flow naturally. All right. What else for you here? Aries. Aries. What else for any more messages for Aries? Wow. Okay. Okay. We have looked deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. There is definitely a lot of love here between the two of you, but nobody's saying anything. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Exactly. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom. And I just saw the twin flame card just showed itself to me. Romance, Cupid's arrow, stripe. So there definitely is love, feelings, romance between the two of you. But nobody's saying anything, Aries. Okay, Aries. So best of luck to you in sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.